Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome once again, once again to my lovely podcast. I'm glad you enjoyed my, I'm glad you're coming into my podcast. This is a very podcast or whatever it's called, but we're going to call it anyway. We're going to talk about not only a famous singer around the world, known around the world, and played a few concerts around the world. This was a guy who was the uh, front singer of the rock band Norvana. Uh, better known as Kurt Cobain. Uh, I don't know if you people realize that it's been 25 years since he passed away. Uh, the year was 94, 1994 to be exact, on that April day, um, April 5th. Um, April 5th, uh, 5th of, 20, of 1994. So he died at age 27. I kid you not. So we're talking about the front singer of Norvana. 25 years later, he passed away. Um, this, this year on April, it was 25 ye- years ago, uh, Kurt Cobain, as a lot of people would know, front guy of Norvana, passed away in 94. Now, the marriage, if he had to have ever had uh, marriage to anybody he, he he married to one uh, one and only Courtney Love I'm bringing her up uh, or name recognition this is name recognition right here Courtney Love who's still around to this day hasn't passed away was married to the front guy of Nirvana better known as Kurt Cobain a lot of people should know a lot of people were trying to communicate to Kurt Cobain in the afterlife. His spirit. I'm, t- t- I'm speaking of Kurt Cobain's spirit. Um, as of now, as of December 20, uh, 20, is it, yeah, 2019, um, I don't have any device around here remotely close to if I were to do a spirit session or a ghost box session for the late great uh, Kurt Cobain. He was a singer. Front. He played guitar. He was. Uh, he was most notable for a lot of Seattle people. He was from Seattle, basically. Kurt Cobain was from Seattle. That's where he originates. Um, but, like I said, twenty-five years ago, this year, he passed away. Um, Nineteen ninety-four. An age, I'm seeing right here, 27. Um, what an age, what an age. Um, but he was born in the 60s, died in 94. So that gives like 27 years of his life. I kid you not. Anyway, the moral of the story is my two cents on the whole thing of her, I mean, of Kurt Cobain. Now, this is my two cents on it, my thoughts on it. I think Kurt Cobain shot himself. And it wasn't suicide or a murder or anything like that. I think Kurt Cobain really did shot himself with a rifle. And um, I don't have evidence about this, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he did. Uh, well, if I'm not, uh, if I wasn't like him, I wouldn't be doing that. But be that it's May, 94, his, uh, he passed away. And uh, the whole world kind of mourns, essentially, about his passing. Famous singer around the world, a rock group of Novan, the drummer, what I, I'm going to give him a name recognition here, with Dave, uh, what's his name, Gaith, uh, Dave Garth. I think that's his name is. I don't know. I hope I'm getting his last name right. I um, hope I'm uh, saying his name in a correct way. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the drummer from that group, Novana, is still around. He was, he he went to he started a new band called the Foo Fighters. This is the rock band of Foo Fighters. He's still there as the rock, as far as I know. Uh, the bass guitarist of that band of Novana, uh, I have no idea. I I don't keep tabs on these guys. I don't keep tabs in the Rock, rock and roll world. I don't know where the bass guitarist guy. Um, he's a big, big, uh, big guy, very big guy. You should see him in a Nirvana group. He's the bass guitarist. Um, 
Now, I don't keep tabs on any of these uh, rock singers around the world, but but I know where the drummer went, the original drummer from Novana went. Uh, he's, he went to the Foo Fighters rock group, uh, but he played many rock groups besides the Foo Fighters. But he's best known on the Novana group, which you hear all on Novana's albums. Uh, he, he plays really fast and loud, fast and loud, at least fast and loud. Um, uh, and yeah, so he landed a gig with Kurt Cobain, upcoming singer, and they hit it off. They hit it off, mostly in the rock band. Uh, they had another guy, I forget the other guy's name, but um, yeah, so we're just, we're doing, we're saying rest in peace, Kurt Cobain, wherever you are in this world, and uh, rest in peace, I should say. Uh, I'm just saying it in a nice way. Um, if your spirit, your spirit of yourself, Kurt Cobain, is here, speak or don't speak. Um, I'm going to say it in a natural way. Kurt Cobain, if you're here with me right now in this recording here, I'm recording my uh, of you passing away in 94. Uh, that's what it says on your Wikipedia page. Uh, I'm watching it. I'm seeing it right from here. Um, if you, if you want to say something, say something now. Your your spirit of yourself would say something beyond the grave. Um, if you can, uh, give me a sign here. I'm just saying this thing normally. Um, you died at age 27, according to the Wikipedia page, or your front, or I found you out on website. Uh, a lot of people don't know that you passed away in '94 and you shot yourself. Uh, you essentially saw, shot yourself with the, according to what I've heard on the news, with a rifle. Um, this is my two cents on it. You you were married to Kirk uh, Courtney Love, who's still around to this day. Uh, Kurt, I just want you to know that Kurt Courtney Love, who you got married for three years of. Um, she's still around. She likes Madonna. She likes Madonna. Uh, she had a run-in with Madonna, the singer, you know, Madonna, who sings Poppy Don't Preach to Live and Tell to you name it. Uh, Madonna is not long... Uh, well, anyway, I have stories about Madonna, but I won't tell you about it on this, but we're, we're speaking of, we're doing a remembrance of Kurt Cobain, the front singer of Novana. Um... Who we lost in this world. But people are playing your songs, Kurt. I just want you to know that, Kurt Cobain. People are playing your songs to this day. Uh, on all your albums. Even t-shirts they have. They have t-shirts of you. And um, <clears throat> they're loyal fans to yours, Kurt Cobain. I just want to let you know there are loyal fans out there. Still out there 25 years later of your songs. that you. Uh, just recently I saw your rehearsals. Your rehearsal footage from '93, uh, MTV, I think, uh, had their cameras there, and they you, they filmed your rehearsal. Uh, uh, and yeah, I saw it last night, and um, so yeah, I saw the rehearsals of your band, uh, your Nirvana band that you had. Um, sounded really good, sounded really good, but you didn't play your famous songs that everybody used to hear in, in your. Music videos like uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit to uh, your other ones from your other albums. Uh, but uh, yeah. So rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. Uh, I was looking on YouTube to see where your gravesite was, where you laid to rest, essentially. And um, I was looking online to see if anybody found your gravesite uh, that you laid to rest. And uh, I have a little trouble of finding your gravesite. And uh, rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. If you're in this world and you heard me in the afterlife, rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. Um, a lot of a lot of people are trying to communicate to you through a sp spirit box or a ghost box for your spirit. You're speaking beyond the grave. I saw a video on YouTube. Uh, you're speaking beyond the grave, on the beyond or the afterlife, and they're trying to do spirit communication of you, Kurt Cobain. Um, 25 years later when you passed away a lot of people did speculate that you murdered yourself or somebody murdered 
you and uh, my two cents. I'm going through my, uh, you know, this is my thoughts on it. I think you killed yourself. And I think a lot of people, when they mean kill themselves, they don't mean hanging yourself. They mean lo- other things. But I think you killed yourself by a gun. Um, a lot of people have speculated you've been murdered, but I think you killed yourself. This is my two cents. 25 years later, I think you really did that. Courtney Love, who uh, you married to uh, back then, I'm reading your page here. And um, so, Courtney Love, you're still al- alive around this world. And I saw your tweet on Twitter. I won't, I'll get into Courtney Love in the next uh, episode of this podcast, but I want to be focused very much focused to Kurt Cobain, the singer of Novana, the front singer of Novana. Uh, of only him, only him. And there was a uh, video about you, Kurt Cobain, when, when you were a little kid, little wee kid, uh, before, they, before they passed away. They did a video on you before you passed away, and they had a photo of you when you were a little kid, little wee kid, when you were just, just getting to know the world, just getting to know the world. As a little kid, but yeah, Kurt Cobain. Uh, I just want to let you know that I did. I honestly, I love your music that you put out there to the public. Um, people heard your songs and they really truly love you, Kurt Cobain, and um, they really love you, and they're really honest uh, people out there. But I just want to say, rest in peace. Twenty five years, Kurt Cobain, since you passed away. I don't know if the people in the afterlife will tell you that. Um, but you're speaking beyond the grave. Your soul or your voice are speaking beyond the grave. And they're getting their one asked questions about that that day, the, that actual date, that uh, 94, that was 94 Kurt Cobain, that you shot yourself. This is my two cents, what I gather through the videos on YouTube. I think you shot yourself, uh, Kurt Cobain. I think you did. It wasn't a suicide. It wasn't a murder. I think you just killed yourself, uh, Kurt Cobain. Uh, this is my feelings about it, what I gather through the videos and stuff. And um, and people are trying to reach out to you as a spirit, as a as a person, uh, as, a, as a ghost. Well, not a spirit but a spirit of yourself, like beyond the grave. They're trying to do spirit communication to you, to speak to you in the afterlife and the heavens and uh, white light. Um, Courtney Love, who you uh, got married to, she's on Twitter. I saw her tweet just recently. Um, uh, she has, uh, she's still around thinking about you, Kurt Cobain. Probably that's what she's doing. I saw her. Uh, I saw her on MTV. She met uh, the um, the other woman, uh, which is Madonna. You know the famous singer Madonna. Well, Kirk. Uh, well, <coughs> Courtney Love met in a strange way. In a very strange way. I saw the footage. Also, it was MTV. Um, I think it was around ninety four. I don't know the actual year, but uh, Courtney Love. I mentioned I'm I mentioned I mentioned some names about you, Kurt Cobain, that you had ties to. Um, Courtney Love, who I see right here, um, you Courtney Love married. Well, you guys got married in uh, ninety two to ninety four, so it was a three year difference of your marriage to her. Um, and you had a you uh, you. Uh, had a daughter in the family. I, I'm reading right here in front of me. You had a daughter, a children. So children, you had you had a daughter in the family. I did see some rare photos on YouTube about that. Uh, I'm not trying to communicate to uh, Kirk Cobain in the afterlife, but I want to, because it, it, you were a fixated with, Kirk Cobain was fixated with a lot of rock bands out there. And uh, Norvana, Kurt Cobain, I saw your rehearsal footage in 93. It was good. Excellent. It was good with different camera angles. It was great. 
A lot of people are missing you, Kurt Cobain. Uh, but the drummer, the drummer you had on Nirvana, he went to uh, the Foo Fighters rock group. But he's now, I don't know what he's doing now. I don't keep tabs on the drummer uh, on social media, but uh, I could probably figure out where he is. Um, but yeah, I just want to, I'm not trying to communicate to Kurt Cobain, but what I want to do is like a uh, 25 years later, a remembering Kurt Cobain, singer Kurt Cobain. And uh, 25 years later, I didn't realize it was that long ago. And uh, yeah. I think I heard about it on the news that uh, Kurt Cobain has uh, passed away. So, and he did have a daughter in the family with uh, Courtney Love. I don't know if Courtney Love knows that. But, uh, he had siblings. He had uh, two sisters, a brother. That's your siblings. Uh, now, I'm not going to mention their si your siblings, Kurt Cobain, but... I don't know if they're still active, but I can check for you. <clears throat> but uh, rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. A lot of uh, Nirvana fans are missing you at the moment, 25 years later. But still listen to your music, Kurt Cobain, what you put out there to the public. Um, and uh, yeah, you're a big superstar to everybody. A lot of people loved you. And... I just wanna I just wanna put this as a remembrance video uh, remembrance audio for a lot of people out there. It's been twenty five years later that uh, you passed away, and everybody was sad. Ninety four, they a lot of people came uh, came to Seattle to uh, say their last uh, goodbyes of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love at the time. I think she was drunk or something. But yeah, it was a big deal for a lot of people out there. So anyway. <clears throat> so I just want to do a remembrance to a lot of Nirvana fans out there. But on YouTube, you can actually sing Nirvana music with the karaoke versions. I kid you not, folks. But yeah. So rest in peace, Kirk, uh, Kirk Cobain. We'll see you in the next lifetime. Hopefully in the next uh, universe. When I pass away, I'll probably see you in the afterlife, when I start speaking in the afterlife. But until then, I just, I just want to do a remembrance sort of thing. And rest in peace. Uh, a lot of people loved you, Kurt Cobain. If you want to say anything now, Kurt Cobain, in this recording here, this is just about you, Kurt Cobain, right now. If you're here with me in this room, speak, Kurt Cobain. Um, this is your chance to uh, respond to your viewers out there. Anyway, if you said anything, Kurt Cobain, thank you in the afterlife. And um, rest in peace. Your spirit lives on, Kurt Cobain. I just want you to know that, Kurt Cobain, your spirit lives on. And always will. And uh, I'm not sad. I'm just, I don't know. Anyway, you passed away in April 5th, 94 uh, of that year. And a lot of people speculated that you were murdered and all sorts of things. They did the conspiracy on you. Uh, but I think, this is my thoughts, this is my two cents on it, you shot yourself, Kurt Cobain. I'm pretty sure that's what you did. Um, anyway, I'll, so I'm going to end this podcast tonight. And rest assured, we're going to miss you, Kurt Cobain. Nirvana. Courtney Love is still, still living, still alive to this world. Whenever she passes away, she'll probably speak to you, Kurt Cobain, in the afterlife. And that's all I'm, go I'm going with. Uh, but I saw her tweet recently. She has a, she's on Twitter, Kurt Co I mean, uh, Courtney Love's on Twitter now. And she's tweeting out. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, So we're going to look deeper, very deeper into Kurt Cobain's life, essentially. So anyway. Anyway, good luck, everybody. This is about Kurt Cobain and remembering 
him 25 years later. Good night, everybody. See you on the next podcast. I know I should have done an EVP session or a ghost box session, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it up to the people who can, who has this capability of doing it, who can speak to Kirk Cobain or try and communicate to Kirk Cobain in the afterlife, uh, who have that psych ability to do that. Um, but I have right here in front of me is the photos of you, Kirk Cobain. This is the photos on social media. And uh, yeah. So anyway, rest in peace, Kirk Cobain. We'll miss you in the afterlife. Rest in peace from me and to everybody from Nirvana Rock Group. I will put that in the title, in the title of the video. It'll be just an audio portion of it. Uh, but yeah, crazy that it may seem, 25 years later, a lot of people played your song, uh, playing your, your CDs, albums to uh, demos, if you had any demos. So yeah. So yeah, see you guys later. Peace.